To answer this question, yes, African Americans were very influential in the 19th century laws per state. Now, if you know the United States of America, every state is different. But in the 1800s, late 1800s, 1900s, many of the African Americans who were introducing or drafting bills, they had to do with discrimination and racism across the board because it was our duty to help our people. No matter where in the nation, African Americans stood by African Americans and fought for not only African Americans, but for other people who were not white. I mentioned a man named John J. Nemore a while back when I was talking about Charlotta Amanda Bass. Both of these people are of the the newspaper, the California Eagle. The African-American man named John J. Nemore actually founded the California Eagle. And at his death, he left it to Charlotta Amanda Bass. This African-American newspaper was the biggest in California at that time in the 1800s, 1900s. Before John J. Nemore's death, he introduced what was called the Dribble Bill to the state of California, to the state legislation. This bill provided for the penalizing of persons who discriminated on account of color against persons applying for accommodations in hotels, restaurants, barber shops, theaters, and similar places of public resort in California. It was an effort to erase what he knew would, amen- would be a menace to democracy in the state and would contribute to the same sort of racial discrimination and friction that he and his people had left behind in Texas. Now, he introduced that bill, but he passed away before 1915. He passed away in 1912. Under the guidance of Charlotte Amanda Bass, the California Eagle continued the fight. And in 1915, the fight was won. Black people were able to ride on the same transportation as white people. That transportation at the time was called jitneys. Now, the California Eagle also supported the passage of the Allensworth High School Bill into state legislature. Now, it talked about the city of Allensworth, founded by Colonel Allensworth, an African-American man in California. Well, the California Eagle backed that bill and the state of California ended up giving funds so that the African-American town could have a high school. So even though I just spoke about two people who were very influential in politics, there were black people, black politicians all across the United States of America who were drafting and introducing bills to their state's legislature for the cause of African-Americans and to end discrimination, period, for anyone of any race. So basically, African-Americans fought for everyone.